Hello, Aquarius. This is your August, mid-August 2019 reading. I had a false start earlier and I had to restart this video. <clears throat> Excuse me, and this came out before. And I had already, con I already, con I concentrate on your sign as I am shuffling. Um, prior to the video, I shuffle and I uh, meditate on your sign or any sign that I'm doing. And this uh, tried popping out with a false start and it popped out again. So it's the Six of Cups, past thoughts of people, people from the past, nostalgia, thinking about the past, positive memories, possibly. Sometimes it's someone coming back from the past, but not always. But because it popped out twice, you know, I think it's important. But this is for Aquarius, mid-August. 2019 new energies that are affecting many Aquarius or hopefully most Aquarius the energies that are coming in mid-August 2019 full Celtic cross remember this will not resonate with all Aquarius individuals and I always look for a positive reading but if we don't get one well then we'll work it out hopefully I don't lose my voice I only had one cup of coffee earlier so uh, got a new tablecloth so it grabs a little until I get a plastic on top. We got to deal with it. You may reject something. You may have uh, turned something down or someone turned something down with you with the Four of Cups in reverse. You may have rejected something. But you're chained to a situation or someone is chained to a situation that has something to do with you and like an obsession in some way sometimes. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn. What's crossing it? You're, you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for better things to come in. You're obsessed with it. You're thinking about it all the time with the Three of Wands that is crossing it. Your goal, you're saying, I'm just not going to work with it anymore. <clears throat> you're going to try to put it from you. You're going you're to try to unchain yourself <clears throat> from a situation. Foundation is the Princess of Wands. Princess of Wands could be Aries Leo Sagittarius. Somewhat younger, young at heart, good looking. A um, lot of energy. Maybe you're, you're going to meet up with someone like that. In the past, maybe that is you as the Queen of Swords, possibly, or dealing with another Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This is someone who can be very sharp with words. They feel discontented. And I could tell that with the devil there, that's probably true. Really stuck on a situation. And you're thinking, I need to release myself from this. Maybe you're having trouble with a collaboration. Maybe you're having trouble with more than, you know, just one person. Now, I will clarify this. Once I start clarifying it, you can change up the story and make it really interesting. Yeah, you may want to put a halt to something. You may think things are too slow. You may think they're just like blah in your life with the Knight of Dis. Again, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Taurus or a Virgo. But you maybe you put a dead halt to something for some of you. And we'll lay more, four more out. We'll see what's going on with this energy. And I will, like I said, when I clarify, it changes the story up. Oh, this stupid thing. I told you it grabs. You got the devil. In the upright with the three of wands crossing it. The devil in the upright. Three of wands crossing it. Why are you there? For Aquarius. What's going on? Yeah, someone wants to control a situation. Maybe a little too, too controlling. But it's like someone is saying, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to sit there and uh, ask you your opinion in some other ways. You know, Some of you could be dealing with an Aries but also someone of a father figure, sometimes a boss, someone in authority, someone who is ruling a situation, and you yourself can take on this energy. But it's like someone's obsessed, chained to a situation, and they feel like something good is not coming in, or they have to do something about something, and they make a ruling decision almost. So the devil in the upright, three of wands crossing it, the emperor in the upright. Why are you there for Aquarius? 
Ten of Cups. You're really obsessed with getting your Ten of Cups. And there's nothing wrong with being obsessed with getting the things you want, but you just can't let it overrule your life. You know, put thing every, everybody else away from you. But in reality, you're wanting that Ten of Cups, that overall emotional satisfaction where you come into life and you finally are happy. Satisfied with the Ten of Cups. Now the goal, what crowns you, is the Three of Pentacles. For some for a reason, you're not collaborating. Someone's not collaborating with you. Something's not working. And it can involve either more than one situation or more than one person. So the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you there? For Aquarius, is what crowns them or their goal. You're trying to come out of disappointment. But you still see kind of like the negatives, but you're trying to come out of that. But it's like, maybe I need to stop working on this so I just not be upset anymore. But you can't let something go. So the Three of Pentacles in reverse, Five of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for Aquarius? as what crowns them or their goal. Could have to do with the fire sign, Pisces, I mean, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't know why I said Pisces. Maybe some of you are dealing with that. But could have been an accident. But sometimes Pisces sometimes comes up. Now you got the Princess of Wands here as the foundation. So I see your goal. Maybe you want to collaborate. Maybe you can't let go. But something's not working. Something is not, you feel like no matter what I do, it just doesn't work and it could have something to do with somebody in the past with that six of cups like i said it tried to pop out twice so princess of wands in the upright as a foundation why are you there for aquarius yeah some of you are having trouble this could be a karmic situation a karmic relationship because that is the world card in reverse something a karmic relationship with a possible fire sign may not be over or maybe you're still dealing with it in your own head or maybe they are you know maybe this other person could be feeling this way about you so the princess of wands in the upright the universe in reverse why you there for aquarius so yeah past heartbreak they're getting over the heartbreak or you're getting over heartbreak with the three of swords in reverse but I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, lie to you. I do I do not see this karmic situation over yet. Someone is still obsessed, whether you are or somebody else, with the situation. And it has to do with that the past memories and what went between you and somebody else. I'm seeing it as people now. Now, in the past, the Queen of Swords, maybe it's because there were sharp words. The Queen of Swords are in reverse. Queen of Swords can really, you know... You know, their words do cut like a knife when they're not in the upright, you know. So the Queen of Swords in reverse, why are you there for Aquarius in the past? Huh, Princess of Dis, someone else is involved. It also could be that messages weren't very practical or stable that you were getting or given. Prince of Discs sometimes can be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I'm seeing a lot of earth and fire energy here so far. And um, let me get another card for that. Queen of Swords in reverse. Prince of Disc in the upright. Why you there for Aquarius in the past? Yeah, someone didn't offer someone a real stable beginning. So whatever happened kind of went amok. Now someone is still thinking on the other person. And they're kind of, you know, wondering what happened. And they really wanted that 100% emotional contentment. But they're feeling, I, I do see people coming out of heartbreak. But at the same time, they're still thinking about you or you are still thinking about them. Now, in the very near future, we got the Knight of Disc. The Knight of Disc is in reverse. Again, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You may be dealing with one of these type of people. Maybe something is stagnant with them. Maybe... Something isn't moving along as well as you like it to. It could be all different things. Let's find out. Knight of Disc in reverse. Why are you there? For Aquarius in the very near future. See, I'm seeing a lot of fire and, yeah, 
someone wants to come out of taking a break, but they feel like something is stagnant. Some of you may be wanting to take come out of taking a break with um, an earth sign. But it's just a thought right now. Knight of Disc. Four of Swords, both in reverse. Why are you there for Aquarius? It's just a thought right now, the way I'm feeling. Yeah, someone wants to break free from a situation. They want to come out of taking a break. And like I said, it could have to do with a, a earth sign or an earth sign wants to come out of taking a break with you. Or you want to break free from a stagnant situation. Now, the possible future outcome. I actually got three outcomes when I do this spread. Oh, this tablecloth. Um... The near future, the possible future um, outcome, depends on how you play your cards, how we see the cards, and the final outcome, and then is what is uh, coming towards you also, and also what you could possibly manifest by your, you know, what's, what's your hopes and fears, and what, what you, what's in your head, and what's getting in your way. So, ooh, possible future outcome or advice from the universe, contract or relationships, maybe even commitments. With the Hierophant and the Upright. It could be t the universe telling you you need to commit more. But not necessarily. It could be saying that you may want to accept a contract. But I need another card. The Hierophant in the Upright. Why are you there? For Aquarius. It's a possible future outcome or advice from the universe. Yeah, you're going to have to make a, a final decision on uh, commitment. Like I said, whether relationships, jobs, or whatever, someone may um, pin you down and say, you know, you got it. You better decide if me or this other thing or person or situation is either um, my way or the highway type situation. Now that I see that uh, emperor, that's what the emperor does. It's my way or the highway type thing. So can I get another card for the Hierophant in the upright, the Eon in the upright? Why are you there? For Aquarius, it's a possible future outcome and advice from the universe. Saying, make a decision on commitments. If you don't, you won't have any gain. It's a Nine of Pentacles. I'm reading it like a story in reverse. So it's saying, make a final decision on what you need to do. Because right now, you not doing that is not going to bring you any gain. you you got to make a decision in something in life. And something that is solid. Okay? With the hair font. What is coming towards you? Ooh. The moon. Maybe some of you dealing with a cancer. The moon. They say it's. Uh, some say it's Pisces. And others say. Uh, you know. But I say it's more like. Hmm. Deceptions. Things hidden. Coming towards you. Not knowing what to do. Possibly also. Could be that someone's lying to you. The moon in the upright. Why are you there? Is what is coming towards Aquarius or the outside environment? Why are you there? Oh, you're getting a message. You're getting a message. Eight of Wands in the upright. Something that you weren't seeing coming. Yeah, you're not going to see this message coming, or it's going to be a deceitful type message, or someone. I don't know, very emotional. The moon in the upright, eight of wands in the upright, the outside, what is coming towards Aquarius or the outside environment? Why are you there? I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, someone is not happy with you. That's a nine of cups in reverse. Yeah, they're they're in a not in a bad mood. This person's in a bad mood, okay? They're gonna talk to you, they're not in a good mood, or they may be very emotional, like I said. But, yeah, it's going to come quickly. For some of you, be careful, you know, who you talk to. and They may be in a bad way. Because I do see that devil there. Someone's in a bad way. Your hopes and fears, Prince, Prince of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra in the upright. You're hoping to keep things stable and going. You're hoping to keep communications on the upright and on um, the right path. So, Prince of Swords in the upright. Why are you there for Aquarius? And the hopes and fears. And the manifestations. You can do this. Why are you there? 
you're afraid a completion is not there, you're, you know a completion is not over, and we did see that with the world card in reverse. You're also afraid that you will never have a happy home and you know stability in your home, you fear that. So the Prince of Swords in the upright, four of wands in reverse, why are you there for Aquarius? The Hierophant, you're afraid of commitments. You're afraid of taking solid contracts. You're afraid commitments won't work. But the Hierophant in reverse. It says here it could work, but you got it stuck in your head that it won't. And this is how you manifest something. you you, you got to set your mind right and say, yes, I can do this. If this is what you're wanting. So it has something to do with somebody in the past. It's got to do with more than one person or situation, like I said. But somebody wants their happily ever after. And someone's kind of chained to a situation. But in the near future, you break free from something. You break free from something. You stop taking a break. You stop maybe because you were stagnant. Because that night of distance in reverse is saying you're breaking free possibly from that. But I do see a message coming your way that could be a little deceptive or someone is emotionally upset. That could be. I do see that, that devil there in the beginning. In the end, you will put away strife. You will work something out, possibly. Let's find out what's going on. Yep. Looks like the universe is in agreement with you. Five of Wands in reverse while you're there for Aquarius as the final outcome. And it's probably come up quickly. Why are you there? You may overcome strife. You may stop battling. Yeah, and you may think to yourself. You're going to start thinking um, about what you want in life with the Hermit in the upright. You're going to be thinking intensely about it. And you're going to say, I'm going to stop battling. I'm just going to stop fighting. I'm not going to argue anymore. And I'm looking at the possible future outcome. I see you breaking free of a stagnant situation. I see you accepting a contract, possibly, or taking on commitments. So five of wands in reverse. The hermit in the upright. Why are you there for Aquarius? You're going to be thinking about something. Yeah, you're not going to walk away. You're not going to walk away from a situation either. Either. I think you're going to make a, de a decision. Something that had to do with more than just one person. And like I said, you may be obsessed or someone else may be obsessed about something, you know, chained. About something, again, that has to do with more than one person because I see the three of wands there. I'm seeing a lot of, you know, I got the three of swords there. I got the three of pentacles. So, yeah, it's more than one situation or person. And maybe you, you're trying to think, what... What am I gonna? What am I gonna do? What decision am I gonna make to make me happy? Overall happiness. In a way, you're kind of wanting to come out of disappointment with the fire sign, possibly, but there has been no maybe possible collaboration there. But the, I'm just telling you right now with the world card next to the fire sign here, the world card, the universe in reverse, the karmic cycle is not over. Over past heartbreak, you may want to. Um, try to rectify that somehow so you can move on or fix the situation. In the past, sharp words were said, you know, and new, new, no new stable offers were made or something got cut out or a stability situation went amok. In the near future, some of you, like I said, with the Knight of Disc may feel like something did not move on. And so they're going to say, this is too stagnant. I may break free. I may stop taking this break. I got to stop being stagnant. The universe agrees with you. It says, um, start, you know, motivating yourself. Take these contracts and make a decision because you're kind of like not making that decision in the past because it's just going to hurt you financially and with your stability if you don't. You will get a message from somebody. Sometimes the moon has to do with the seat. Sometimes it has to do with emotions, or it does have to do with emotions. But you're getting an emotional message that someone's not happy. Now, they may not be mean. They just could be just upset. Or they could be a little, like, devious or lying. But they're not happy. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Just letting you know, whatever message you're getting, someone is having something wrong, you know, in their life. 
you're trying to keep yourself in the upright. You're look, you feel like I'm struggling to go to be what I want to be with the Prince of Swords. I'm afraid these contracts and this happy home and this long-term stability won't happen. Those are just fears. You can turn that around. It looks like the universe's agreement with you. You will have these things, but turn your situation around and make a decision. You do think intensely upon past strife. And but and you're not going to walk away from it anymore, but you're not going to argue. You're not going to walk away from this responsibility or you're thinking about not walking away from it. Let me get one more card. Oops. Yeah, you're... Let me drop one thing for another with the uh, Two of Pentacles in reverse. It's like you're... you're it's still going on. It's going to still go on from um, mid-August till September for sure. Because of this Knight of Disc. And I don't see a final situation come about. If I, I saw the Eight of Cups in the upright, then you would be walking away from the situation. But you're not. You're thinking. You're think, it could be that you're thinking about past arguments and not to do them anymore and to drop it from your life. But I do see the universe saying a contract or a commitment. You've got to make a decision on it. In the end, there's the devil. So someone is chained to a situation with you, whether you're chained or they're chained or everybody's chained. But a decision, the universe says a decision must be made in uh, commitments and contracts. So do what you got to do. It looks like you're going to. You're going to think about it. And that is your reading and try not to get too much in your head. Because you can manifest what you want and end a negative situation. Okay, and go on with your life. This is your reading, and I'm going to let this go. Bye.